Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and today I just wanted to share with you some of the tools and materials that you will be needing for Rings Every Day Month. When you participate in a daily challenge like this, it's a lot easier to make yourself successful uh, by having kind of a toolkit set up ready to go so that each day you're not kind of looking for things, running around, trying to gather up everything, but you have everything basically all ready to go in one spot. So there's no question, there's no procrastination, no issues. You can just start making rings. So if you want to participate in Rings Every Day Month, you can learn more over on my website at KimberlyKohler.com. There is a free version and a premium version. Um, the premium version, you do get a new tutorial every single day of the month. Um, the free version, it's I'll send you inspirational emails and reminders to make your ring that day. Even the premium version is relatively inexpensive, so um, I hope that you will join in in one way or the other. But today I wanted to show, share with you some of the materials and tools um, that we'll be using so you can get ready and have everything all ready to go. So you've been looking at this wire. This is a 20 gauge half hard round wire. For the rings that we'll be making, this is the main wire we'll be using. You will need 18 gauge as well and also for some of the rings 22 or 24 gauge wire um, for some of wrapping we'll be doing on them. But for a vast majority of rings it's 20 gauge. You can use any metal that you like. Along the way we will be using other things like beads um, but each ring is different so I'm not going to really go into that so much right now um, but I, you will be able to use the beads that you already have in your stash for the most part and rings are awesome for um, using up maybe this one odd bead you have left from a project or something like that. So you will need some beads as well. Alright, so now let's get into the tools. I wanted to show you these. This is a ring mandrel. It's metal. It's solid. You will also find ring mandrels that are wooden. This is a ring sizer. This is plastic. It's hollow. It's somewhat flimsy. When I started making rings many years ago, um, what I always used was a ring sizer. I didn't even know when I bought it that what I was buying was the wrong thing. Um, you can find a ring sizer very inexpensively. I got mine on eBay. Uh, I checked some time ago, they, you could still, if you just searched ring sizer, um, you can find these. They are, they're only three, four, or five bucks. Um, and to be honest with you, I really like still using my ring sizer to make wire wrapped rings because most of the rings I make um, involve wrapping and not hammering or that sort of thing. So it's really fine to use this and it's lighter. And that's why I mostly like it the, the most. So that's what this is. And then the ring mandrel, like I said, it's metal. It's a little more expensive. You can find, I, I actually think I got this at Michael's. Um, and you can probably still find them there. And they might have ring sizers at Michael's as well. Um, if you're going to be making rings that involve any sort of hammering or that sort of thing, you do want to have something that's a little more solid, so you wouldn't want to use a ring sizer for that. Uh, like I said, most of the rings I'll be showing you, um, you can use a ring sizer, and in fact, um, sometimes you'll even see me using it in the, the videos and that sort of thing for the tutorials, if you take the premium version, um, because I just prefer it because it's lighter and it's what I'm used to. So the tools that you'll need are the three tools I talk about all the time. I have a whole blog post on them. Um, <laughs> and you'll need an additional tool, which I'll show you in a second. But they're wire cutters, round nose pliers, and chain nose pliers. And you won't need round nose pliers for all of them. You will always need your wire cutters. You will often need your chain nose pliers. And then my secret weapon tool are these pliers. These 
are pliers with teeth. They're serrated. Um, they're pliers that you probably have in your toolbox already. These are not drawer making pliers. You will not find them in any, well, you most likely won't find them in any uh, jewelry supply tool place. Um, you find them at the hardware store and the reason you don't find them for jewelry making is because they do have teeth on them and in most cases you would never want to use these with jewelry making because they will leave marks on your wire. However, they make pulling wire um, very secure and we'll just be using them on the ends of wires and we'll be cutting that part off. Um, so these are my secret weapons. And then finally one other thing you want to probably have is a roller for obviously measuring your wire. Um, so it's you probably just want to have that handy as well. So they're the main tools and materials that you will need for rings every day month. So I would suggest kind of gathering up a little kit, um, maybe having a little basket you put everything in, maybe kind of getting a little spot in the corner of your living room or wherever you make jewelry if you have your own studio uh, maybe you just want to have these items kind of in one spot there or if you work on your kitchen table something like that maybe you want to gather things up in a little box or a basket um, so you can easily get to it each day so i hope that helps you Get ready for Rings Every Day Month, and like I mentioned, you can learn more and sign up over at my website at KimberlyCooler.com, and I have the link for Rings Every Day Month below in the description.